Today we're going to talk about application profiling and starting very quickly and simply with Observer. The first thing I'm going to do is I've taken a trace of my website, um, complaining, complaints coming that it's a little slow. So we're going to start here and here it is. This is my website IP 65, 254, 231, 110. And I see that there are three client connections being made. Network response time is about 50 milliseconds round trip, which that's not horrible. But we can see that the server response time is 100 average is 134 milliseconds. So, you know, about two and a half times, three times almost slower than the network. So we could, you know, if we're going to point fingers, we could point right now that it seems like the server is a little slow, but let's do a little more investigation. So the easy way to do some investigation with Observer is let's narrow our focus. We can right click and say add this particular server to application transaction analysis and click next. And We're going to say I want to track every URL that's being requested. Configure. I want to go 10 levels deep and I want to check every URL. I click OK to that and finish. And now what happens is in my application transaction analysis tab, it's going to show me application response time. The application errors are in red, so that's already telling me we got some errors. Not That's probably not good. The blue line is the total application requests. And then the dot is the the uh, network delay there we see. So if I highlight that or hold my cursor on that, hopefully you can see our response time from the server we said is about 134 milliseconds average. Network delay 52. There are three application errors out of four total application requests. Well, that's not a good percentage. So obviously we need to go fix our website. If I look at application statistics, I can see the same thing. There are four requests, four GET requests being made, and there are one 200 OK coming back, and there are three 404 not found errors. So again, points me in the direction of I need to fix. There's something that's being sent out from my website to telling the client browser to, to get something that's not there any longer. But we also see here that the average response time for the GET request was about 345 milliseconds, or the maximum, sorry, was about 345 milliseconds. Okay, the last place I'm going to go is I'm going to look at the actual URL tracking statistics. And I can see there are four requests being made. The first request is for the home page, the, the default start page, and we can see that request takes 345 milliseconds for the server to process. So that's a little, you know, slow, I guess, whatever, third of a third of a second there to find the content and start returning it. But then we see there are three other requests for a favorite icon, some right arrow, GIF file, some GIF files that obviously are missing because we got the three 404s. Now the other thing that's interesting of note right here, we can see that the the slash, get slash, the default home page returned basically 6,000 bytes of data, but then the other three responses that, that basically were 404s returned also in total 6,000 bytes of data. So roughly we're doubling the amount of network traffic in returning aired packet response information. So, you know, we can clean up the network, so to speak, by cleaning up the application or by fixing the application. So we're eating up bandwidth by sending stuff across the network that's that is unnecessary. And that's those four four messages so we can see that very quickly now it's very simple just to apply a filter um, tools post filter create a new filter I already have one here for HTTP 404 I went in and said give me a 
starting from the IC, IP TCP data offset 9 give me uh, sorry that's a 304 we want 404 give me any 404 message I apply that filter and it returns three packets I can see that they're at the top three 404 not found uh, and we can see the length there of the data that's being returned to 16 100 bytes so again we've got a lot of extraneous data being returned from the web server saying hey the information you're looking for is not there and we're eating up network resources etc for this process to happen so very quickly just by spending a few minutes in looking at um, our applications if we profile them and just see what's returned we can help empower our application developers to fix problems in their application that affect the network or that will be seen as you know the network is slow type of you know complaints that are going to be caused here because again we're sending all this extra traffic that we that we really don't need so we can see in uh, this total 45 54 bytes that are being returned oh wait this is on my uh, let's go back to the original trace where I have everything and not just those 404 errors we can see that from the the server there's 12,086 bytes being returned and again of those 12,000 bytes if we look at just the application portion uh, 11,812 of those bytes but again of the of the four responses we can see almost double or again 6,000 bytes are being returned if you will in error so I hope that gives you a little more information and insight into how to profile an application and look for uh, things that may affect your application performance and network performance. Thanks.